Hey guys, this is Bharadwaj with Phone Arena. Guess what? We just loaded up iOS 7 on the iPhone 5. So this is the white iPhone 5 we have here. A beautiful phone. And we have loaded the beta operating system onto this device to check out the new iOS 7 interface and the new features. So let's dive in. So starting from the lock screen, as you can notice here, you have live wallpapers on iPhone now. So it has been in Android for a while, for a long time in fact, and uh, it's good to see that accelerometer enabled live wallpapers are now in uh, animated wallpapers in iOS 7. It actually looks pretty decent apart from the color scheme. So anyway, there's a, there are a lot of new features and changes. So let's get through the features now. The lock screen is different. As you can see, uh, the camera shortcut is now different and uh, the slide to unlock is not a button now. It is not a control. It is for the complete lock screen. So you can slide to unlock only in one direction uh, right this way. As you can see here, uh, there's a new animation for going into the home screen. So the first significant change in feature in terms of UI features is the control center. So what you see here is basically a rehash of what you had in the left hand side uh, with the volume uh, volume uh, control, the music player control here, the brightness control here and uh, airplay uh, that's a new feature airdrop, uh, some toggles and some more toggles here. So anyway let's uh, go through every one of them. Uh, on the top you have five toggles here. Uh, the do not disturb mode, the rotation log, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi and airplane mode which we had to dug, uh, dig into the settings last time. So there's a brightness control slider here, a music player control which we think could have appeared only when playing music because this takes up a lot of uh, screen estate if you're not wrong. And uh, airdrop is a new feature that you can use to send uh, files or receive files from peer to peer. Yes. Finally, iPhone has the Bluetooth transfer and it uses Wi-Fi too for faster transfer, uh, transfer speeds. So this can not only connect with uh, uh, other iPhones or iPod, it can connect to the Macs too and Macs already have AirDrop so the naming makes sense. And then you have AirPlay of course which has been there and yay, new torchlight which you can enable to turn on the torch light I mean so basic but still uh, you know something noteworthy here uh, this is uh, a shortcut to the maps uh, to the clock seriously that's a clock icon we didn't know that and uh, we really thought it was a maps icon anyway so uh, for calculator here and camera here so these are the four shortcuts uh, in the control center so that's the control center basically uh, it's enabled over a glass like interface this is the caution blur enabled in the UI we will talk about the design aspect later but that's how it is and uh, there is a new notification center too uh, today is very similar to Google now so whatever uh, things you have will will appear here so that's uh, this is uh, present uh, and if you have any appointments, it will show up here. All will show you all the notifications of apps and missed notifications which you did not see while it popped up will show up here, which includes messages, calls and whatnot, whatever important. So again, this is also enabled with the caution blur like uh, thing that rolls over the screen. That was the uh, new notification center. And uh, Another thing that is really changed and a really welcome change is the multitasking interface. So here is the multitasking interface. It is actually uh, enabled in the background. Every app is running actually, which is uh, some apps are not suspended if you, uh, we'll show you that. So this is the camera here. We are moving out uh, the camera. We'll go into multitasking and we still see the camera is moving around as you can see here. So yeah, um, new multitasking feature, apps are running in the background. We don't know the specifics, but it seems like apps are live in the background, which is a good thing. And of course, you can close the apps with uh, a swipe gesture, just like this. Very similar to WebOS, 
uh, and the UI pretty much looks uh, like Windows Phone's Task Manager, uh, except for the gestures. Uh, so the app icons here, if you click that, that will go straight inside, but a uh, bit redundant, uh, could have uh, had only the names here, but they have the icons too. Uh, this is the new calculator, nicely designed. One of the aspects that we really liked in iOS 7. So let's move on to the next feature then. Next feature is the new camera UI. Uh, a brand new camera interface you just saw here, there. So uh, completely redesigned uh, from the earlier interface. It is, it actually looks really good. You swipe over to change modes and whatever the mode you need, uh, what Apple thinks you need is here. So there is a scrubbed mode and there is a panoramic mode as, we, as you expect from Apple's camera. And you have live filters too. That happens here. So you have these filters here, which can act instantly. And then you have the video mode. Pretty bare bones and you can access the uh, flash here, auto on or off and the front facing camera mode here. The gallery here, which we will take a look at soon. So anyway, that was the new camera. And the next feature we are going to show you is, uh, of course, the new photos app. Here's the new photos app. All the photos are arranged in chronological order. And if you have a lot of photos, it will show up in a uh, lot sleeker, smaller uh, thumbnail view, which is pretty cluttered, but uh, then you can browse it using live thumbnails like this. So that makes it pretty nice actually. Also you have the uh, shared uh, cloud pictures that you have uploaded already. So yeah, that's the new photos UI. As you can see the new animation too. And uh, let's not forget about other apps. So new Safari. Safari has been updated with a whole new interface and it looks actually quite good. But uh, the tab interface and the icons here are uh, pretty much uh, inconsistent to what you can see uh, in the UI. Uh, they are like very uh, minimalistic, too minimalistic for our days perhaps. So anyway, that is the tabbed interface and a very minimalistic uh, design of the new Safari. So another interesting thing is that uh, every uh, new iOS feature uh, here, another most important feature is the iTunes radio. So this is mostly like Pandora and Spotify remixed into Apple's form. So this is going to be streaming radio uh, like those uh, countless number of services that you might already use. Uh, Apple might be late to the game, but they have the most uh, impressive library with millions and millions of tracks. And uh, yeah, I guess uh, iTunes Radio, that's the new feature for iTunes. Uh, we haven't tested it uh, intensively, but we'll let you know if you find anything new. So finally, let's talk about the design. So here are the two devices. Uh, we wanted the Chrome to be away so that you could see, you could focus on the interface. So we, we remove the covers. So as you can see here on both these lock screens, this is pretty much uh, full of Chrome and this is very minimalistic. And the font weightage has been drastically reduced. This is Helvetica Nui and this is Helvetica Nui Ultralight. Uh, so that's the main difference we see here on the lock screen and as you could see the animation was a lot different too. Let's talk about the icons. The icons are very consistent on iOS 6 whereas the icons are very cartoonish with ridiculous gradients, uh, inconsistent gradients here. Uh, that's pretty much it about the icons. We don't really like it but uh, we think that since this is just beta 1 things might change. Uh, but third party icons remain the same as you can see with uh, speed test. Uh, the fonts though have 
gone lighter, a little bit lighter on iOS 7 and the drop shadow has a bit uh, dropped uh, in terms of opacity. So that's the major difference and if you take a, take a look at the dock here, uh, it's fully Gaussian blurred and it's completely reflective and skeuomorphic. So diving into uh, specific things like game center, the game center on the previous iOS was absolutely horrible while the game center here is completely different. I mean the uh, total boardroom like design has been changed. That's a good thing. Uh, notes and reminders still have some uh, four uh, UI like uh, not as skeuomorphic as the reminders app on iOS 6 but this still has the paper like UI in the back. That counts as something doesn't it? Uh, the clock UI has completely changed and uh, while it does look better than iOS 6, we would definitely argue about visibility uh, on iOS 6 which is a lot better than iOS 7. So yeah, the design is pretty much flat and inconsistent in iOS 7 whereas it is geomorphic, glossy and uh, everything unlike uh, uh, what iOS 7 is actually is. It might be a good step or a bad step. As you can see here, a very stark difference between the two. Uh, if you can notice, when we go inside a setting, the toggles have changed, which, are, which look a lot better. And uh, the back is actually a text control most of the times, uh, not a button like on iOS 6. So that means that uh, this is a typography based UI if it's not apparent yet. It's not based fully on iconography which is a bit worrying because people might not actually like it. We don't like it that much but hey anyway that uh, works I guess and uh, even folders are much changed. Folders have these uh, fake linen texture on uh, iOS 6 whereas uh, a much different texture on uh, iOS 7 and the compass app which is like totally skeuomorphic on iOS 6 is completely changed on iOS 7. It's very minimalistic. Uh, we haven't calibrated it yet so anyway and taking a look at the notification center as you can see the iOS 6 thing is cluttered but uh, and has that usual linen texture of course but uh, yeah, that's the change and yes, the weather app also has changed in iOS 7. It looks absolutely beautiful now, unlike the old weather app on iOS 6, which looks okay, but uh, this is completely the new one, which is really good. So yes, that's a quick comparison between the two. Uh, we don't know what to say. The iOS 7 is still in beta 1 so we can expect things to change but uh, from the looks of it the design strategy is kind of inconsistent. Not to say it looks absolutely beautiful in some places but uh, absolutely inconsistent in several places. I mean come on let's at least make the gradients consistent. One has a uh, upper to lower, one has a lower to upper, I mean come on. Uh, at least that could be changed but we guess it is going to be changed. Uh, is it a good direction for Apple? We don't know yet because things are going to drastically change we guess regarding uh, the, uh, at least if the backlash is concerned. Uh, maybe Apple will do a 360, uh, 180 and uh, do some changes to the iOS iconography and some design inconsistencies. So yeah, that's about it. That's the iOS 7 walkthrough from Phone Arena. Uh, do leave uh, your comments, your thoughts and opinions on iOS 7 in the comment section below. We will be listening to you and if you have any questions, we will answer them for you. So that's about it. Do hit the like button if you like this video and do subscribe to the channel for more videos like these. Thanks for watching.